St. Helena is a remote, tropical and rocky island in the middle of the South Atlantic Ocean. It belongs to the United Kingdom and has a population of a few thousand people. The population is of mixed ethnicity, but the majority are of African descent. In the 1990s, a team of researchers led by Tony Charlton visited the island. They wanted to explore the effect of television on children's behavior in a natural environment. St. Helena was the perfect place for such a study because broadcast television was not introduced on the island until 1995. Charlton and his team were able to study the children's behavior a few years before and after the introduction of television. This research study can be considered to be a natural experiment. Natural experiments are a form of experiments that attempt to establish the effect of naturally occurring variables on behavior. In this case, the naturally occurring variable was the introduction of television, and the researchers wanted to see how this affected the children's behavior. The research study can also be characterized as a case study. A case study is an in-depth investigation of one case, such as a particular individual or a cultural or social group. In this study, the case were the children of St. Helena. Case studies often use many methods and take place over a longer period of time. This was the case for this study, as researchers studied St. Helena for almost a decade and used many research methods to gather data. One method that the researchers used to gather data was naturalistic observations. During naturalistic observations, behaviors observed in natural settings without any interference by researchers. Often field notes are used to record data. Naturalistic observations can be covert, during which participants are unaware of being observed, or overt, during which participants are aware of being observed. Naturalistic observations can also be participatory, during which the researchers participate in activities of the group, or non-participatory, during which the researchers only observe. The researchers set up video cameras on several pl school playgrounds on St. Helena and recorded children's playground behavior before and after the introduction of television. This naturalistic observation was overt and non-participatory. Another method that the researchers used was focus group interviews. In focus group interviews, a facilitator leads a group conversation on the participants' opinions, experiences or attitudes. Other examples of interviews are unstructured interviews, during which the interviewer do not have any prearranged questions, only topics to explore. Unstructured interviews are like everyday conversations with open-ended questions. Semi-structured interviews are somewhat more structured in that the researcher has a much clearer aim of what he or she wants to find out than in unstructured interviews and have prepared more questions or topics to explore. Like for unstructured interviews, however, there is still room for spontaneous follow-up questions and exploration of unprepared topics. In this study, an unstructured focus group interview was conducted on a group of teenagers from St. Helena. The teenagers believed television violence would have little effect on children's behavior because the St. Helena community is very close-knit and friendly and has a high degree of social control. Children are looked after by everyone. This is also what the researchers found during their naturalistic observation of children's behavior on school playgrounds. There was no difference in the degree of antisocial behavior in children before or after the introduction of television. The findings of this study are contrary to some laboratory studies on the effect of television on children's behavior. For example, Bandura's famous Bovodol studies in, in the 60s. Although it does not challenge social cognitive theory per se, it demonstrates that children do not only learn appropriate norms from role models in the media, but they are also influenced by the norms in the society they live in. This is also suggested by social cognitive theory through the concept of reciprocal determinism.